understanding how the structure of coral reefs is being affected by human activities has importance to the full range of ecosystem goods and services provided by coral reefs. Studies done by a number of ecologists have revealed that the three-dimensional structure of coral reefs is extremely important to the abundance and diversity of fish species. This is a table from Sean Wilson and colleagues that examines how the abundance and diversity of fish species is affected by the loss of living coral cover and structure. Noticeably, when reefs lose coral and structure, they tend to be populated by more herbivorous fish, and those fish which are specialists in terms of feeding on coral disappear. Now, over longer timescales, changes in the structural integrity of reefs can have major implications for the way tropical coastal areas function. As will be discussed in later discussions on climate change and ocean acidification, the degradation of calcium carbonate stocks has implications for the protection of reefs by the ramparts that coral reefs provide along coastlines. In each of these cases, sheltered ecosystems such as seagrass and mangroves may be increasingly exposed to wave energy uh, as these important calcified structures on the outer side of reefs disappear. These global changes, when coupled with more local disturbances such as overfishing and pollution, have the potential to produce large-scale impacts in the way that tropical coastal ecosystems function and provide services and goods for humanity. Our ambition over the next few weeks is to increase our understanding of how we can manage coral reefs to ensure that we don't lose them from tropical coastal regions. In the next set of lectures, We'll leave the issue of coral reefs and we'll begin a discussion of connected ecosystems.